Hey guys, how's it going? This is Seth from How I Think. Thanks for watching my videos. And in this video, I'll show you how to configure the RAID array for um, an HP 380 G5 server. It's a bit of an older server, but But it, you know, it's a it's a very decent server. It has this thing has. By the way, I'm going to configure the drives. As you can see, the first two hard drives are 146 gig SAS drives. It's going to be my OS partition, and then the next four is going to be my um, my uh, data partition. These are the 300 gig drives. Uh, RAID 5 with the and base 7 as the spare drive. Now I'm going to show you how to do all that in the uh, uh, from the Smart Start CD. So I just powered it on. It's booting up now. All right, so once you boot up uh, into the SmartSouth CD, uh, obviously you'll see this main screen. You want to go ahead and uh, click on Maintenance uh, in the middle, and that's going to take you to this next screen. Um, from here, what we need to do is um, click on the HP Array Configuration and Diagnostics. And so once you go ahead and click on that, uh, you'll be taken to this next screen. From there towards the top, from the drop down list, go ahead and uh, choose your smart card, your RAID smart card. That's going to take you to the next screen and show you all your unass unassigned drives. As you can see, we have seven drives. So go ahead and click on the plus to expand all the drives, and that'll show you everything that we've placed in here. So, what we need to do is create the um, array first. So, you're going to click on create array, and that's going to go ahead and list all the drives for you and we need to do is uh, create a OS drive so we're gonna choose bay 1 and 2 the 146 gig hard drives when you do that then you hit OK and once you hit OK that's gonna go ahead and create the um, uh, that's gonna go ahead and uh, create the uh, logical drives for you as you can see on the left hand side it created the uh, 237 gig uh, unused space then go ahead cl click on create logical drive and from there it's smart enough to know that you want RAID 1 so uh, it already highlighted that for you uh, go ahead choose that and hit save you could also choose RAID 0 it's up to you uh, but once you do that then on the left hand side you'll see that the logic logical drive is created and uh, it's RAID 1 so once we have our RAID 1 created we're going to go ahead and click on um, the unassigned, unassigned drives on the top and uh, that's going to populate on the uh, right hand side all the drives for us all the rest of the drives which are unselected so we'll go ahead and select uh, all the drives make sure that base 7 is not selected because that's going to be used as spare select all the other ones and we're going to hit OK once you do that as you can see on the left hand side it created the one terabyte new space and uh, so from there what we need to do do now is actually create the uh, array so click on create logical drives once we do that um, the computer automatically chooses rates 5 for you it's smart enough to know that you've selected more than three drives so go ahead and leave the defaults and click save you can make the changes here if you want but I wouldn't suggest it so there you go it created the RAID 5 for us. And so once uh, the RAID 5 is created, uh, we need to go back and uh, click on the uh, SAS array B with spare, and that's going to populate on the right hand side the spare management section. Go ahead, click on spare management, and it automatically selects that drive for us, which we're going we're gonna to use as a spare, and then click save. And what that's going to do is if a drive fails in the array, uh, it's going to automatically use this spare drive. Once that's done, go ahead and click on exit. 
Um, once you save it, go ahead and click on exit. It's going to take you back to the main screen. From there, you want to go ahead and click on home towards the uh, lower uh, left-hand side. That's going to take you back to the very first screen that we started with. From there, um, we're going to go ahead and install the operating system. So go ahead and uh, you're going to go ahead and click on install. After the install, uh, we'll leave disk one, 136. Remember that's the OS drive. So go ahead and hit next from there from the media. Go ahead, choose whatever to, uh, operating system you want to use. Then hit next. From there, we're going to leave the defaults. Go ahead and hit next. Um, we'll leave this as is. Um, just accept the defaults and hit next. There, you're going to hear the next screen. You type in all your information, the server name, your company information, and so on and so forth. You hit next. I typically say no to SNMP. It's up to you. Um, so make the changes there. Hit next. There, here, leave the uh, express and then hit next verify all your information um, and when you hit next that's going to go ahead and start installing the uh, drivers so uh, that's it this is how you build the server and configure an array array thanks for watching